get into our get into our next game here. Next game. So our channel, we are sponsored by Inked Gaming. So thank you to Inked Gaming for sponsoring us. If you play Pokemon or Magic or Yu-Gi-Oh, whatever you play, uh, going to InkedGaming.com is a great place to get uh, dice bags, play mats, um, all sorts of gaming accessories. And if you use the code coupon code FishCast10, um, you get 10% off your uh, your order. Uh, and you also get some money to us to help us support support us, which is super great. So thank you for doing that. We also have Fish and a Merfolk podcast play mats. So if that's something you're interested in, um, yeah, if you could pick one of those up, that'd be sweet. All right, so we both had Namolgan. Um, our opponent did not have a uh, did not have a basic Pokemon, and neither did we. So we had to take Namolgan as well. So we both get to look at our hands. So we're going to put this Keldeo in hand here, or into play. Unfortunately, these max elixirs are a little stranded in hand, uh, but we'll be able to cycle through, uh, cycle through what we got here. We have no additional basic Pokemon, okay? There's our prize cards. And our opponent has a Snorlax. I love the Snorlax. It's in one of my favorite... Uh, it's in one of my favorite, uh, what's it called, uh, theme decks. So this actually looks like an upgraded version of that theme deck. Bulufant. Bufiant? Bufalant? Bufalot. <laughs> Ente? <laughs> Bufalant. <laughs> All right, another wheel. Um, we don't really want to do this because that would give our opponent an, an extra card. Um, so let's go ahead and start looting. Uh, let's get this float stone because we can just put that on our on our Pokemon here. So Kyle, what what did you get in your other packs? I know that Dragon's Maze was was likely to be a bust, but uh, hmm. Well, we can use this maintenance to shuffle away one of the shuffle the N or something like that, or shuffle away the Professor Sycamore. Let's do oh. We're going to shuffle those back in to draw one card. Oh, there's an Articuno. Cast the Max Elixir to put an energy card on that Articuno. All right, so we're going to Battle Compressor. Oh, no, we can't, we can't put a Blastoise in the yard. There's Archie's. Do we have... Okay, we don't have anything to get it back. So let's... Put that, put a Rough Seas and another Versus Seeker. Uh, let's get a Ultra Ball here. Because we want things to be able to discard that, that Pokemon. Let's go ahead and put the energy on this Articuno. And we can retreat this Keldeo uh, for free because of the Float Stone. So let's go ahead and we can put this Fury Belt on it just to protect it a little bit more. And we'll use the Chilling Psy to put that Snorlax to sleep. And of course our opponent uh, <laughs> our opponent just has uh, the ability to un you know untap it, that's fine. Our opponent, Mr. Leary, uh, is doing, doing some thinking here. Team Flare Grunt, discard an energy card attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. Sure. As long as we have one, that's fine. But I do agree, Pokemon is serious business, Kyle. So I hope, uh, for, for my American viewers, I hope that none of you were too negatively affected by this recent uh, Arctic chill uh, that we've had in the, uh, the Midwest. Uh, <laughs> I hope that you all have been staying warm and all that fun stuff. Uh, it's definitely no fun to be stuck in your house and all that. Okay, so N is at least a way to get this Blastoise uh, out of our hair. So let's put this Energy card on Keldeo. Put this Float Stone on War Waylord. And then we can N to at least uh, maybe disrupt our opponent from what they've been drawing. 
So we have how many energy cards in our yard here? Two. Okay. We also have versus seeker, but we don't have. What do we? What do we need? We need a Archie's Ace in the Hole, but I think all of our Archie's Ace in the Holes are magically in our prize pool, since we've been able to search for our our, de our deck for stuff and haven't seen them. So unfortunately, it looks like our our path to victory is in uh, getting the max elixirs back and just putting a bunch of. Oh, that's not a supporter card though. Let's go ahead and play this Manaphy out. Uh, Keldeo. Uh, that doesn't help right now. So let's just chilling Sai our opponent's Snorlax here. And switch in our opponent's turn, uh, or go into our opponent's turn, I suppose. Our opponent put a double energy card on this type null and a muscle band. So it looks like they're really trying to get this thing up. So we need to kill some of our opponent's Pokemon uh, to get to our prize cards because uh, looks like all of our Archie's Ace in the Holes are in our prize cards, which is very uncommon, but is something that can happen occasionally. All right, our opponent's playing like a Steel Fire Colorless deck. Very interesting. Ooh, and evolving their Sil Silvali. I'm going to mess up these Pokemon names. I am so sorry. Not very sorry, actually. There's a Versus Seeker from our opponent. Well, there's a Trainer's Mail. Let's go ahead and see what we can get with this Trainer's Mail. Uh, an Acrobike, a Versus Seeker. So we want this Acrobike. Okay. Cast our Acrobike. Get a Max Elixir. Put this on our Keldeo. Put that energy on our Keldeo. Swap it in with Articuno. We also want to find our Stadium card. Uh, to, to be able to heal our Pokemon. It looks like our, our opponent is building up some huge Pokemon over there. So we definitely want to be able to, to keep up damage-wise as we don't have our combo online. It says we have the advantage against them, but uh, we don't really have the advantage if, if our deck isn't doing what we need it to do. At least we'll be able to kill the Snorlax next turn and, and force them to, to get one of their Pokemon out. Our opponents, our our, our Pokemon's uh, weakness is, is to grass types, so we're in no danger, at least in that in that regard. Oh no! It's like we don't have ways to get more energy cards into our hand. Let's get N back. Play our N. There's Archie's Ace in the hole. Oh, we do have an Archie's Ace in the hole. So what are we doing then? Uh, do we have a Blastoise already in our graveyard? We do not. Let's go ahead and get a Blastoise in our yard. Blastoise. We don't need any more Battle Compressors. We don't need... Really any of those anymore? Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, let's trainer's mail. Thanks, Olaf, for, for hanging out and appreciate you appreciate your compliment. Th uh, have a good day at work, okay, man? All right, so we can Ultra Ball.
and just not get a Pokemon. Done. Okay. So unfortunately we can't, uh, oh, we can kill it. Let's get a prize card. Oh, Lysander actually might work out pretty good, except it's a supporter card. I don't like that. Oh, Gilly Huss, thank you for the host. I appreciate you uh, doing that for us. Uh, it helps support the show, so thank you so much. Helps get the word out about Fish and a Merfolk podcast. A muscle band on his uh, Buffalant, Buffalon, <laughs> Turbo Drive. All right. Hmm. So that doesn't really help us. But what we can do is we can switch it out with like this. So that it can't, uh, it doesn't kill our Pokemon right away. Or we get another. Uh, we get another prize card. It does have a retreat cost, so yeah, we're 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 safe, I think. Doing 130 damage, not too shabby. Also, big shout out to all the people that auto host us, because you guys are great. Let's see here. Why is it not uh, letting me see? Oh yeah. So we've got a couple people auto hosting. Uh, us, Sky Spider, Jungle Fiver, MTG Young Mage, Michael Armando, Warlord Hank, thank you for that. Uh, Chuck Wagon MTG, MTG Young Mage, Moontime Dweller, and Sky Spider. Although most of those people are Pokemon uh, aficionados. So I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I don't know how many of your followers are enjoying this, but thank you so much for the host in, in any case. I do appreciate it. All right, so our opponent was able to switch out that Pokemon with this Silavi GX and is going to kill our Keldeo, which is unfortunate. Unfortunate. Well, hopefully we get a way to discard the superior. And, ooh, nope. <laughs> nope. Ugh, we are in quite a pickle. I think our opponent uh, knows that they are kind of in control of this game. Ugh. They never don't have it. <laughs> Yeah, our opponent has been able to get through. Honestly, I thought we didn't have any Archie's Ace in the hole in our in our deck. I thought they were all in our grave in our prize cards, but you always have to pay attention to that sort of thing. So they put a fire energy on whatever this is here. A heat more. Heat more? It looks like an anteater. I like that. Odor yeah, it might be. Odor sleuth, searing flame. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now burned. Not good for us. Let's see what this thing can do. Uh, turbo Drive. Uh, it has the energy to do it. Okay, so we're not quite dead yet. Uh, trainer's Mail. Let's see what we find. Uh... I mean, at least that way we get rid of it, right? Maybe we can deck ourselves, <laughs> lose to our own, lose to our own deck. Nope. Uh, no energy cards off this max elixir. Uh, discard these two cards. Uh, done. 
get the versus seeker and so actually since we have n in the graveyard we we might be able to uh stay alive oh nope if we if we play that then we're just done okay we're just done with this <laughs> unfortunately we're we're done here so let's heal this articuno just for <laughs> basically just forcing the game to go along at this point so we're just gonna yep and they awoke their 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 pokemon we're just gonna concede Oh well, that happens. So we do get some. You do get some uh, energy there for for just just for playing. All right, our opponent's playing a three color deck here. Oh, let's tails. Tails never fails. And uh, we do not want to go first. I don't like going first with this deck. No active Pokemon or no basic Pokemon, and neither uh, are neither of us had basic Pokemon, so we're both taking a Mulligan. Oh, no basic Pokemon again. Okay. Okay, so our opponent gets to put their Pokemon into play first, and then we have to uh, we have to Mulligan, and our opponent gets to draw an extra card. Okay, so we do have some active Pokemon here. So let's go ahead and put this Seismitoad out in play, and then we can put this Manaphy into play as well. All right, so our opponent has this classic Mewtwo. During your opponent's next turn, prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon. That's pretty cool. But they basically only attach the uh, the double colorless energy there. So what does that do? Attack is twenty for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. Okay. Let's go ahead and put this Articuno. Uh, let's cast this trainer's mail to see if we can cycle for something. Um, let's get this Professor Sycamore. We need to get through to things here. Let's put the energy on our Articuno. Uh, let's put the Fighting Fury belts there, and that discards the Blastoise, so we're kind of halfway there. Cast Rough Seas. Um, let's cast this Max Elixir to just put another energy onto Articuno. And uh, let's not put a supporter card into our hand just yet. We're just going to pass the turn. So I can see why this, this deck actually has an advantage over us because of this Mewtwo's uh, attack. Does 20 more damage for each energy card attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. So that dealing 60 damage is not not nothing. Uh, we can kind of heal our Pokemon, to, uh, heal basically half of that attack. But we can start smashing here. Oh, let's go ahead and do this first, just so that way we don't... Also force, forces our opponent to... Okay, so it looks like we actually have the combo here as well. Um, so let's Battle Compressor. Get the Blastoise. We don't need any more Battle Compressors. Uh, let's cast Acrobike. Uh, sure, Waylord, because we can just put it into play. Um, Ultra Ball to discard the Max Elixir and the Verse Seeker. Get Keldeo, which is another big part of the deck. Put into play Keldeo. And then next turn, hopefully we are able to just 
Oh no, no, <laughs> nothing. Oh, it deals 30 damage, I guess. That's not nothing. So that, that ability, you know, it does 40 more. So I guess next time we could actually kill it because now it's down to 100 HP. Now the psychic attack does do more to our Pokemon because now it has three energy cards on it, but yeah, we'll see. We will see. All right, our opponent got, is getting drawing more cards. What is this thing? That's bodybuilding dumbbells plus 40 HP. That's cool. So it has, uh, that's an interesting ability, double edge. Hammer in for 80 damage, geez. Okay, so that dealt 80. Uh, let's see if we can get this versus to just, uh, we have to get something. So that was not smart. Hmm. Well, maybe we can get something that will help Oh, there's a heads. Heads? No. So we need to get something that lets us put that, get rid of that end somehow. This is not going good for, for us. <laughs> All right, our opponent's abil set ability back there did not work. Let's see what this is. Soft boiled. Once during your turn before you attack, you may flip a coin of heads. Uh, heal 30 damage from your active Pokemon. Okay. When they switch to this Pokemon, which does not have... It has enough energy. Yeah, I guess now it does. Oof. Okay, well, now we have a bunch of uh, energy cards in our yard, which is not good. I don't like that very much. Um, let's get this Wailord out here. Just has just has a high level of HP, can kind of take a hit or two. Mm. Put the energy, cast the N. Uh, let's cast this Max Elixir. Put another energy card on Keldeo. Do we have a Archie's Ace in the Hole in the yard here? We do not. But what supporter? Professor Sycamore. And then we're going to put this uh, Fighting Fury Belt onto Whale Lord here. Uh, how many energy cards do we have, actually? Just before we... Or four? Okay. So if we do that, then we actually have to get all four. So I'm not about that. Let's go ahead and pass the turn. All right, our opponent evolved one of their Salazzle. Salazzle. <laughs> Diabolical Claws, Heat Blast, and Queen's Haze GX. All right, so they switched out the Keldeo and they played their own stadium, which, uh, um, which did knock out our stadium card. All right, let's go ahead and put this floatstone on Keldeo. Let's go ahead and put this energy on Keldeo. Cast Professor Sycamore to discard our hand, and draw seven. 
Ugh. Trainer's Mail, let's see what we... Okay, Ultra Ball will help us discard some cards and we don't actually have to get... And we still do not have an Archie's Ace in the hole. Acrobike, let's see if we can get... Ah, uh, that's better than nothing, I suppose. Play that. Heal our Pokemon. <laughs> Um. Oh, we can get the Jirachi, so let's get discard those. Get Jirachi. Unfortunately, we don't have a way to discard this versus Seeker, and there's no way to get around it really, so let's just go ahead and deal some damage here. And uh, deals 20 more damage to to our Pokemon here, unfortunately. Our Pokemon's, uh, our opponent's Blissey uh, healing, using the ability Soft Boil to heal their their, poke their opponent here. And killing our Keldeo is not a great way to get things going, but, yeah, is what it is. Hopefully we get a, a way to discard some of our cards here. Like another Ultra Ball would be a great card to draw. Okay, that is not a good card to draw. Um, supporter card. <sighs> okay, we're actually in a, we're in a really tough spot here, unfortunately. Um, Let's put the energy card there. Um, how many cards do we have left in our, our yard? Or in our deck? Seven cards. Okay, so let's Versus Seeker for N. Which actually helps us to not deck ourselves. Cast N. They'll draw down to three cards, which is good. Uh, we'll be able to maintenance away these energy retrievals. Lysander. Let's cast Trainer's Mail to get Archie's Ace in the Hole. And uh, we're just going to pass the turn because depending on what we draw, we can play the Keldeo. That, that gives us outs to to have the Archie's ace in the hole for in, next turn. And hopefully this Wailord just survives this combat. And putting the Keldeo in play and then getting... We only have four cards in our deck, so we're kind of... <laughs> we're right on the edge. No! <laughs> no, we draw up to six cards. Our opponent Our opponent's trying to deck us. <laughs> okay, we just lose here. <laughs> well, I guess we're not completely out of it. Yeah, we are out of it because if we if we cast Archie's Ace in the hole, we draw the we draw all of our cards and we we die. So, all right, well, that happens. All right, four more games for the night.